Do you have to love yourself to love other people? No, but there's a high likelihood that you might not know that. In today's video, I'll talk about why, as well as other qualities that research has shown to be more important than self-love. The reason most people think you have to love yourself before you can love other people is because of the work of the self-esteem movement. The self-esteem movement in the United States emerged in the mid-20th century and gained momentum in the latter half of the century. It was characterized by a cultural shift towards promoting and prioritizing individual self-esteem and self-worth. This movement was heavily influenced by the idea that fostering high self-esteem could lead to a variety of positive outcomes, including improved mental health, better interpersonal relationships, and greater success in life. Schools and various social and educational programs implemented self-esteem building activities and curricula, often emphasizing praise, positive reinforcement, and the avoidance of criticism. These initiatives came about because research showed that successful people had high self-esteem, so researchers assumed raising self-esteem would make people more successful. But researchers made a grave mistake. The cause and effect in the link was backwards. It wasn't that people who started out feeling good about themselves became successful. It was the opposite. People who had become successful came to feel good about themselves. High self-esteem didn't cause success. Success caused high self-esteem. Better predictors of success and overall emotional well-being have consistently been found in self-efficacy, the extent of a person's ability to set tasks and achieve goals, and self-compassion, the ability of a person to forgive themselves when they make mistakes. And the worst corollary of the self-esteem movement might just be, if you don't love yourself, how can you love anybody else? I've heard it a million times. You have to do things for yourself. Love yourself first. Independence was championed at all costs and healthy interdependence clipped to dependence. And I heard it so often, and from people I respected, I presumed it had to be true. But it's not, it's really not. As Twenge and Campbell write in The Narcissism Epidemic, many people believe that self-admiration is good for relationships as long as it doesn't balloon into narcissism. In other words, you have to love yourself to be able to love someone else. This is a pervasive belief in our culture. This sounds good, but there's little evidence that it's true. People low in self-love or self-esteem are somewhat clingy, seek reassurance of their partner's love, and can get hung up on their insecurities, but they choose partners just as well as everyone else and genuinely care about their partners. In fact, the authors argue, the biggest error one can make with self-love is in the opposite direction, having too much of it. They write, Narcissism is absolutely corrosive to social relationships. People who have been deeply involved with narcissists can tell you this. These relationships destroy trust in others. You learn not to trust anyone after being mistreated by someone so charming and likable. You also lose trust in yourself. If you couldn't see this coming, what does that tell you about your judgment? And then, to dip the wound in salt, relationships with narcissists are remembered and ruminated about for a long time. People ponder what went wrong, they ruminate about the warning signs they should have seen, and they waste a lot of time trying to figure out what made the narcissist into a narcissist. So if you're one of those people who are low in self-love, don't worry. It doesn't make your love any less valuable, real, or healthy. It doesn't make you incapable of love, and it sure as hell doesn't make you unlovable. For links to peer-reviewed research mentioned in this video, as well as more information on the limitations of and misconceptions about self-esteem, please see the description below. This has been You Don't Have to Love Yourself Before You Can Love Anyone Else. For more information on other relationship topics, check out the rest of our videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.